Alright guys, back in Vegas, I noticed that I'm spending a lot of time in the city. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it's definitely interesting. There's another casino I discovered recently, and uh, as I was walking through it the first time, I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. And But it doesn't seem to get a lot of attention, and I think a lot of people don't know much about it, so today I want to walk you through it so you can take a look for yourself. It's called the Fountain Blue. Let's go. So I don't know if you guys noticed, but I always need my coffee. Doesn't matter where I am, if it's in the coldest place on earth or in the desert of Nevada, I always drink coffee. I never really get hooked on the ice drinks. I know it's what a lot of people like to drink. This is still all I need. I want to show you something, guys. So there's a bus here, and it's this one. It says Deuce. It actually takes you all the way from uh, the south of the Strip to I think downtown Las Vegas, maybe even further. They call it Fremont, and it's just $8 for a whole day, or you just pay $6 for two hours. But uh, I think $8 is definitely worth it, because the Strip is quite long. It can take quite a long time to get from one place to the other. And it has a lot of stops in between the different casinos and hotels. And I think they drive every 10 minutes, which is a great shortcut for people who don't want to walk too much. Now you can see it from right here, the blue building over there. It's, uh, it's a bit further away from uh, the main action of the strip, which I think is one of the reasons that it's not often visited or talked about. All right, here's another angle of it, Fountain Bleu. We have some apartments there in the back. I think this is uh, condos you can buy. All right, this is the entry right there, Fountain Bleu. You know how most casinos have their own symbol or theme? And this is a good looking car about to crash into the water for some reason. The way they built the bar right in the middle.
go to the second floor. This is where they keep probably most of the restaurants and stores. the food court right here as you can see Alright, I couldn't resist and I got a slice from Miami Slice. It looks really good. Mmm, that's what I said. Mmm. -hmm. Very different. That's a very different kind of pizza. They put honey on it. And a very thin sliced type of cheese. I didn't have that before. You could always go to Grimaldi's. But Miami Slice, definitely scored some points. Oh, that place was so good. Pizza was quite the experience in itself. I never had a pizza that I wanted to eat slow, enjoying every bit of it. Maybe it was the honey or the thinly sliced cheese pieces, I don't know, but I enjoyed every bit of it. I highly recommend it. Miami Slice, you just want yourself accustomed. I like the blue, white, golden colors in most of the casinos, some of them have it. I think Venetian and the, the Bellagio have similar colors. You guys notice that most of the casinos have a specific set of colors. The wind, for example, is mostly red and white. And uh, yeah, it's definitely a good combination of colors. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the quick video of the Fountain Blue. It's uh, right next to the Circus Circus and over here we have the Resort World. I really enjoyed the Miami Slice Pizza. I didn't know that you could put honey and... I mean cheese, yeah of course you put cheese on a pizza but honey, that was quite new but it was a great fit. Definitely try it again. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video guys. See you soon.